Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Sunday. It is April the 3rd, 2016. We're going to look at the 8th race from Aqueduct. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections. Today's 8th race from Aqueduct is the Top Fly Invitational Handicap Grade 3, purse $200,000. It's handicapped for Phillies and Mayors, 4 year olds and upwards. Probably one of the best races so far in New York this year, I, I must say. It's my personal opinion. Some of you guys might disagree with uh, me, but I think it's a very good uh, race. Uh, it's probably, like I said, it's probably the best race so far in New York. But uh, we have seven horses traveling a mile and a furlong over this main track at Aqueduct, which opened on Thursday. Turf racing resumes on Wednesday. Remember, the one, uh, Wednesday is the first um, it's the first Wednesday program of the year. Uh, race 8 so, uh, is the turf program. Great race. Going to probably look at it for here on YouTube. So join me for that. But um, this race, like I said, very good race. Going to do an exacta key or trifecta key or a super fact key, whatever you want to do with this. But uh, I'm going to give you a super key here. Going to key in on the 7 America, who is at uh, 3 to 1. I know there's not a lot you could do with that. Uh, that price. Um, gonna keep that horse on top with the two, three, four underneath for ten cents. Could cost you sixty cents for a fifty cents try. This should cost you three dollars, and uh, it should cost you one, two, three dollars for the um, it's, what do you call it? The uh, super the uh, exacta. Uh, it's been a long day. I've been up since uh, <laughs> since us. Uh, 6 a.m. But uh, number seven, America, three to one, Bobby Flay for Bill Mont, I ride Ortiz, this Keeneland uh, graduate. Last time out, ran at uh, uh, Aqueduct on November the 27th in the Go for One uh, handicap. Great three event that day. This horse lost to Terrace that day. It was a winner of her next start out. This horse finished fifth by nine and a quarter lengths that day. And you know, this horse was five wide at the top stretch, just had no end of the race run. Start before that was a Belmont, mile 16th, October 30th, and to turn back the alarm stakes, uh, handicap actually for a grade three uh, event that day. This horse, uh, one by one half lengths, was basically on the lead uh, all throughout, and it was very clear, very nice win for this horse, breaking the outside. And then uh, ran the Flower Bowl Invitational on a very soft turf course. This horse finished eighth by 41 and three quarter lengths, um, basically finished last. And, you know, this horse stumbled at the break. Remember, it was very, very very wet. You have to you have to watch the replay. It was very. It was just the wettest turf course I've ever seen here in New York. Um, but uh, I think this horse should really improve here today. Owned by Bobby Flay, a famous Food Network chef. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go with this one and also an ambassador for horse racing or something like that. So to recap my best for the top light race and break from Aqueduct here in the Sunday program, I'm gonna go with the Seven Horse America. I'm gonna do. Uh, Try uh, super fact the key here. Seven with two, three, four, ten cents can cost you sixty cents. So good luck to all, and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck, everybody.